Filed on behalf of Stefan Clark's two sons, his parents, and grandparents, the federal lawsuit seeks at least $20 million from the city of Sacramento, as well as the two officers who pulled the trigger, ultimately taking Clark's life. And that's the only form of justice nowadays when it comes to police shootings. You know, you sue because you're not going to get justice anywhere else. Civil rights activist Barry Axius is not surprised Clark's family and their attorney filed now. Clark's family has retained civil rights attorney Benjamin Crump, who's best known for representing the families of Michael Brown and Trayvon Martin. His lawsuit alleges officers Terrence Markadal and Jared Robinette had no reason to use deadly force and that neither issued any verbal warnings to Clark that lethal force would be used. Axios fears the lawsuit won't change enough. The lawsuits names those officers and the city pays the bill and maybe uh, uh, the officers get reprimanded, but if they don't get fired, they're still on the streets. The city is also named in the lawsuit, charged with failing to properly train officers to use deadly force. Training is out. I mean, we continuously have these training mechanisms and they never work. More dead black bodies. Many have thought Crump would wait to file until after District Attorney Amory Schubert released a report announcing whether the officers should face criminal charges. But Axios suspects Crump and the Clark family knows that won't likely happen. You know, we're waiting on this decision, but I think the decision has been made. I think the decision has been made a long time ago, and it's, we're just going to get the information. Yeah, we did reach out to Stefan Clark's family as well as Benjamin Crump, their attorney. Uh, both had no comments for us today. We also reached out to the city, the police department, and the police union, and none of them responded to our request.